South Palomino Freeway. Hey, hey I'm sir. just letting you know I can't I can't take all of them on one radio anymore. I can't. Okay. I can't take it. I'm gonna have aneurysm. So let's start divvying up chases again. All right. You wanna you wanna break them up? Yeah, let's break them all up. Right. What the f are you doing? Lieutenant Rain made me run laps, sir. Who's the lo what lieutenant? Rain Harmony. Why is Harmony making you run laps? Uh, because I I cracked a joke in my FTO and then. What what was I the joke? Up. You know, I said that uh, you know if we want to catch people, I should drive. Who was the FTO? Uh, Archer Avery Archer. And Archer complained to the sergeant that you cracked a joke at her. Uh, either that or she wrote it in my notes, sir. I, I mean, I apologize because she. she <laughs> no, no, she no, 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 no. Pretty good ass. No, 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 no. Keep running. Go back to MRPD once you finish. I got it. Yes, sir. My girlfriend has the same name as my grandmother. Yeah, my brother. When I are having sex, I start thinking about my girlfriend. We want to play this game, huh? Where is she? Am I am I not seeing it? Am I not seeing it? Sergeant, you still in the chase? Hey, Captain. Uh, we are VCB at the time, but we know the starting line is going to be in front of. The hey, where's Avery Archer at? On, or the uh, lieutenant? Legion, but we're going to break off. Last of this where seen shot Archer fired off the was at MRPD somewhere. Okay. Hey, hey, I'll uh, get with you in a bit. Seventy-six. There's a lot of shots fired going on. Everybody okay? Motor one's in route. Motor two, correct. Eight three two one plus one seventy six shots fired at Lindsay Circus. Six one three plus one. We're gonna be twenty three on scene. Looks like there's gonna be two black and colored cars out front it looks like it may be hey, a door why, robbery. why do we have awesome. why do we have a cadet running circles around uh, legion square because he decided to make snide comment well lieutenant told him to run after he made snide comments about uh what was the slide comment uh about how he should be the driver how about let me drive so i we can finally catch someone and then that while, doesn't while sound he... heinous to me at all that sounds like a joke yeah. So the tone with which he said it, it came across. An officer. Wait, okay. Let are are we really gonna be to the point where we have cadets making a joke, an obvious joke, a a hundred percent obvious joke about someone not being able to drive to the point where they get sent to go run circles around fucking Legion Square? That's bullshit. I don't give a fuck what. I, listen, I don't give a fuck what your rank is. I don't care if you're a lieutenant. Put your phone down. We are talking. Why are you on your phone? I don't care if you're a lieutenant. I don't care if you're a sergeant, a corporal, or fucking Jesus Christ. If a cadet talks to somebody and wants to make a simple, funny little joke, have a little bit of decency to understand it's a joke. That's bullshit. And I expect better from all of you. Just because they're a cadet doesn't mean they don't get to have fun. That is bullshit. Be better. Be firm. I don't want to hear this shit again. Unless it's fucking heinous, and unless it's absolutely 100% they did it out of disrespect and it's bullshit, we're not sending people to run laps anymore. We are past that. Understood. Hey, bus. Hey, we're going on. Hey, we're going on. <laughs> fucking think that you have a badge that you can just tell cadets to go run circles around for making a fucking joke. Get the fuck out of here. Tobias, that's fucking bullshit, man. I wasn't the one doing it, sir. I was told to told them I'd take it up. I'm the gonna chain be honest. Let it get whenever, disgusting. whenever I heard that shit, I'm uh, well, this, was, she's lucky I, I didn't send her off fucking duty. All right, yeah, I'm, was, I'm gonna be honest pissed. with you too. All right, I don't know who promoted her, where she comes from, what she does. All righty, but this is the third time I've heard something about her. Every fucking time we are in a meeting, she never says shit. Right. Well, she is always church, on her church, phone. Church, stop running. 
She is Stop always running. on her phone. Go back she acts like she has a stick up her ass. So I'm telling you right now, if I keep hearing her pull her fucking rank, go inside. pull her fucking rank in these situations, I will fire her. I'm over it. We are not I, having I, any more of these asshole I higher with, ups. I 100% agree with you. That is um, fucking she, bullshit. It was brought to me by Archer. She gave me the rundown on it. Uh, then she went to Schmidt about it for some fucked up reason after I told her that I'll take it to Foo, see what he wants to do with it, and keep it internal. Uh, yeah, that's bullshit. That's not going to fly anymore. Oh my God, are we going to kill this guy? Yeah, also she said the line of, I'm not oh, your friend, I'm your I'm fucking really boss, and I cringed. Who said that? That was Harmony. To who? Green. The church. In front of Schmidt. In front of me while I was getting changed. Send her off duty. Send her off duty. It's coming from me. Sure Send her off, off duty. duty. That's the best part. Well, tell her to get the fuck out of the police department then. I don't want her anywhere near it for 24 hours. If she wants to be okay. a dick, then I can be a dick to her as her higher up as well. She is not on duty for 24 hours starting at 5.43 p.m. Period. Okay. I'll let her know. I want to flex your fucking rank that you don't deserve. Dude, listen, man. If there's one thing, bro, if there's one thing that I will not tolerate, it is this big dick swinging of ranks in the fucking PD. We will not be doing that shit. I don't care if it's someone who is on for a day, an hour, a week, a month, a year. Don't give a fuck who you are. Everyone is treated equally, period. All right? I don't give a fuck if you're a FTO or nothing. I don't give a shit. If someone makes a joke and you get so bent out of shape, you go off duty. And then when it gets to a high command member, they don't have enough common sense to say it was a joke. Grow the fuck up. We got a cadet who's excited to be a cop and you tell him you're not his fucking friend. You're his higher up and send him to go run laps. Fuck you. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? DLDR, what happened? We had a cadet make a joke at an FTO that if we want to catch people, maybe I should drive. The most harmless joke that has ever been made ever. FTO gets so out of been out of shape, they go off duty. Sergeant sen or LT sends the, the the cadet to go run laps around around Legion Square as a punishment. Like, what are we doing, man? What's up, baby? Really good. Very, very good. Huh? Actually, I don't need What are you doing? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, been out of shape, chat. I forgot what we were doing. Make her run laps? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to send her off duty. I don't need someone like that in the police department. Spock, what's up? Oh, hey, Captain, did you uh, take it back those parts that I'm Yeah, if a firm. Uh, oh, you're good, you're good. No, 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 you can you can have it back. I'm literally just oh, no, sorry, borrowing it. Listen to me, okay. damn it. I'm literally yeah, sorry, just sorry. borrowing it to get uh, a bank. So I'm negative $700 oh, okay. in the account. I'm grabbing gas, and then I, I'll be back. I, I can send you some money. What's your bank account info? I have you're like good. 40 grand. I haven't collected in like three days, so you're chilling. Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. It'll be back down there in like two minutes. Oh, yeah. No problem. Take your time. Right. Have a good day. Well, again, chat, like, I, I bet she's a great cop. I bet she does great work, and whatever she does do, whatever it is, I bet Captain she does Boston it great. But again, like I said, I will not stand for treating people like shit because you have a rank to do so. That will not happen. I refuse to let it happen. I don't give a fuck. Hey, what's going on, man? Give me one second. I'll, hit, I'll shout at you in a little bit. Not shoes. I don't give a fuck who anyone is or who they think they are. I will always put people in check. If I can, unless it's the chief or the commissioner, you will not treat people like that. That is bullshit. I had that shit happen to me in fucking on no pixel by certain cops. And it literally just completely sucks the life out of you and the, the drive to play PD or to play cop characters. And we've made it very, very clear that we're not doing that. You know? So anyways, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, just want to touch base real quick after kind of that. Mm hmm. So initially, I was. Um, I, so, hold on, let me go back up. Yeah, you're so good. Archer, Archer initially brought to me. 
Um, it was less about just the comment, more about just overall the guy, the guy was being kind of disrespectful throughout the day. I had brought the Lieutenant, uh, I think her name was Rain, Kane, to see if she could ride along because the way the officer the FTO took it was that he was acting a certain way to her because of certain things. I'll leave it at that. And I was going to see if she could ride along with No, him. that's, see, but that, again, man. Just to see if that was an issue because I, there's just, I'm not, it wasn't, the, like, for me, it was less about the joke and more about the like, the impression they got. And I just want to make sure we didn't have a problem person on our hand. So I was just going to have someone ride along with them just to see if that was, if that was an issue. I didn't know if it was or not. See, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. And this, and this is how this shit works. Okay. And I'm going to tell you this because I, I, this isn't my first rodeo. I'm telling you, this is how this shit works. Now I wasn't there, so I don't know what was said verbally and word for word. But what happens is, is people get in these chases and they fuck up or they do something wrong. Right. And then a cadet makes a statement mm -hmm. like, hey, maybe I should drive, right? Yeah, th that's a shitty okay. thing to say. And yeah, it's a bad joke. But at the same time, it's a fucking joke. Absolutely. And the fact that that was the point of which an FTO decided to go to sleep and that a cadet had to go and run laps around Legion Square makes everything else that that individual said, I don't even want to know what he said. Because if, yeah. the, if the, 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 the straw that broke the camel's back was him making a gesture or making a statement of a joke around your driving. And you are so, so bent out of shape that you get told something like that. And the first thing you do is go off duty and throw the cadet out of your car. You need to go and get an ego check. See, Period. I'll, be, I'll be honest. I think you have more context than I have now because I wasn't aware of the off duty or that being, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that, that's, that's, that's listen, news. that's all I got was is that a cadet made a joke and FTO took it the wrong way, reamed him out in the moment. And then Lieutenant Rain sends the cadet to go run laps. And the fact gotcha. that a joke was made and the joke turned into a cadet having to run laps around Legion Square. Number one, that FTO needs to fucking sack up. All right. Stop being a, such a, an easy person to upset. Mm -hmm. that, that's ridiculous. Jokes are jokes. It's okay for a cadet to make a joke. Number mm -hmm. two, when it reaches the lieutenant, she should have enough common sense to sit there and go, hmm, this isn't that big of a deal. Don't ride with him anymore. He he goes with somebody else. Okay, this this kind of shit is just it's never gonna fly. Treating people differently because their rank is a cadet and you're a whatever rank it is, unless it's something heinous, we're not gonna just sit here and be fucking assholes to new people coming in. Imagine us. I, Imagine you're working at a fucking job and you're going, man, no one wants to work here. We really need to get our numbers up. Guy walks into the door, hey, I would like to apply for a job. Sure, I'm going to treat you like shit. I'm going to act like you fucking nobody. And every time you want to do something, I'm going to ream you out for making a mistake, even if you're just having a good time. Mm. Who would want to fucking work there? No, I, I mean, I, I agree with you. That The dynamic we had the first few weeks of the department kind of, I think, gave a lot of bad taste to a lot of people and they stopped coming around. A hundred percent. And I, fun. the chief, the commissioner, even the staff sergeant have made it very, very clear to you guys, the NCOs, the FTOs, and all of high command. We are very, very clear that we will not be doing that bullshit anymore. And I still have people doing it. So whenever it happens, especially by someone who fucking knows better, I am going to blow a gasket because we are not treating people like that. It's not happening in my police department. And I sure as bet your fucking ass, the chief thinks the same way. We want this place to be fun, man. I want people to wake up with a smile on their face, excited to go to the fucking work. Because the reality is we get our asses kicked all day long, all every day. single fucking day. So if there's people going out there getting their fucking ass kicked, and then they come back to MRPD and they're getting their ass kicked again, who would want to wake up? Nobody. Exactly, man. You know? So again, I know you got into this late and all that bullshit yeah. i'm not mad at you uh, i just yeah again i just want people to enjoy themselves want people to have a good time that's all it is i have a question for you can you try and use this to fill it up i can't put it in my hands can can you pull that out in your hands we'll let you pull that out oh try oh oh i fucked up actually here let me take it back One sec. i think i just have to put it in my my spots. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was trying to put it in my. Yeah, hey, I don't want you to have belt. to do that for me. I'd, I'd take it. And only uh, put what's weapons. That? Uh, did it fucking disappear? Here we go. I got it. 
Oh, where the hell you took it from? I'm like, geez, I'm losing my goddamn mind. But yeah, man. You got, I, you got to put it in your utility belt? Yeah. Listen, I don't oh, like okay. to get mad at people. I don't like to actually truly get mad at somebody. But if there's one thing, I mean, hell, man, I, I fucking did it when, when the people started giving you shit, Cream. You know? Whenever you mm. made an honest mistake, what was who was the first person oh. to fucking no. start yelling at motherfuckers? No, and I appreciate, I, I, Captain, I appreciate that. Yeah, a lot. but but again, look at where you're at now. You didn't even think you were going to be on the police force very much longer. Now you're a fucking corporal. That's why I do it, and that's why I treat everybody the same. Because you were a fucking cadet then. Now you're a corporal, and you're making damn good changes. You know, uh, and I really, I really appreciate that. I um, I, I'm not, I'm not a corporal anymore. What the fuck happened? Uh, I, I didn't get in trouble. I promise. <laughs> uh, first sergeant talked to me yesterday. Said that there was issues with it not going through the proper channels, and first sergeant just kind of promoted me. So yeah. Jesus fucking. That I had to go through the right channels before I could get it. Well, so to be honest to, uh, with you, by. he's right. He he didn't say anything to anybody. But when it goes to the sun, blow on it. Shit! I gotta oh, get. Shit. I gotta go fix it. It's in my face. Oh my god. Oh shit. Watch out! Don't come too close. Oh. You're leaking gas. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Get the. You motherfucker. You mother. Hey! Get the leaf blower out or something. <laughs> Go ahead. How about you drive right there, Carter? Go get your car fixed. Piece of shit. Go ahead, Carter. Move a little to the left. Motherfucker. Anyway, Schmidt, we'll catch up later, but yeah, he, uh, yeah, we'll catch up later. Hell out the way, dick! Feels beeps, you fat fuck. <laughs> uh, cool, that's all good. We need to call Foo and double check and see if he's talked to what's her name and fired her. Oh, yeah, the cadet. Let's go see if the cadet's in the lobby. Superhero, thank you for the tier one, man. Appreciate you, dude. Fire the lieutenant. She doesn't need to be fired. Again, I guarantee you she's a good lieutenant. I guarantee you she's a good lieutenant. I don't get to see her much. She's not on duty when I'm on duty, but I guarantee you she does good things for the police department. I just don't see it. With that being said, every time we have had a conversation and she's around, she has not made it a mission to walk up into the conversation. The reason I bitched about her phone was whenever we were, if you guys remember, two days ago, we had a conversation, all the higher ups were there. There's like six, seven people there. Lieutenants, corporals, everyone. She walks up, we start talking about it, right? She was talking with Carter, saw all of us, didn't make didn't make a, a point to walk to us and, and, and join the conversation. Then when she walks up, she instantly takes her phone out. Like she has other things and better things to do, you know? And that's the kind of shit where it's just like, you know, especially whenever you're getting reamed out, the first thing you do is is take your phone out. Like, no. Yo, Cap. Alrighty. Now I'm, I'm, I've calmed down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, that, I told, that's what I told Harmony. I'm like, give him, give him a, a little bit to calm his, calm his fucking moves down, man, because my movies are fucking angry. Well, right again, now like, uh, you know, and that's my biggest thing in just life, right, in anything, is mm -hmm. people getting treated fairly. 
and Agreed. What I do saying. not think that he was treated fairly. I think whoever number one, number one, number fucking one, who was the FTO? The FTO was uh, Avery Archer. Well, Avery Archer. She is lucky. I do not remove her FTO. The reason why the reason why is if she cannot have a cadet make a joke. She has no fucking reason or she has no right to be an FTO at all. I understand she wants to be an FTO. I understand she wants to help the PD and I appreciate that and I want her to help the PD very much. And I'm not taking this guy's statement, this cadet statement as fact. But at the same time, right. she cannot sit there and FTO someone and have the vibes of, I can't even take a fucking joke. Because I'm telling you, I wasn't there. But from what it sounds like, this was a, she had a bad time at driving, he made a joke, she lost her fucking cool over a joke. And that cannot right. be the precedent we set. Yeah, exactly. I like I Avery. Agree. I like Avery a lot. And I want her to be a big part of the police department. But at the same time, Damn. she cannot be sitting there and having someone make a joke and losing her shit to the point where she starts complaining to an LT and then gets off duty. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Recall that came in a little That's while ago. Shit. This could be the result of that. So, yeah, 100%. You let her you know. And I, you and I went through shit today, and are we fucking butthurt over it anymore? There it is. No. So, she needs to understand this. Like, if she wants to be an FTO, call, we want her to be an FTO. Occupied, but if I hear this where a, a cadet can't even make a fucking joke without her wanting to to go off duty then she has no business being an fto go in go on duty and go hang around people that you like if you cannot take a joke by a cadet then don't be a fucking fto right so exactly make that very clear to her and i don't want to hear about this bullshit again unless it's actually something that i need to be worried about exactly Fuck, i don't give a shit people are having fun and, and saying jokes yeah, I updated his profile with my notes and feedback on it. Blue Very clearly stated, uh, this, I believe. this can be chalked up uh, to them at miscommunication, earlier. misunderstanding, and the other things that were in there. This can all be trained. Do we Every have a tenant unit that was attaching that can go four. and do Thank you. No problem. What Later. do you mean? You're the best. Appreciate you, brother. It's going to be north on the base FTO of the is still a training officer. What was highway. the joke? Maybe I should drive so we can actually catch somebody.